the Rubin Observatory will be capturing more than 2 million images of the night sky over the next 10 years, creating an ultra-wide, ultra-high definition map of the universe. There's a lot of strategy involved in determining what part of the sky to observe when. Surveying the night sky is something people have been doing in some form for thousands of years. The Rubin Observatory will be doing so on an unprecedented scale with new capabilities and optimized for different science. We are working closely with astronomers and cosmologists with a wide variety of interests to make it as useful as possible for the entire community. As the Earth rotates about its axis over the course of a night and about the sun over the course of a year, which portion of the sky is overhead varies. The weather also varies by time of year and we need to avoid observing too close to the moon. All of this must be planned for. On top of all of these variables, Rubin's goal is to survey not just of space, but of space and time, meaning that we're trying to measure how objects move and vary in brightness. And to do that, we need to return to the same sky again and again, sometimes rapidly to measure objects that change quickly, and also over long periods of time to see slow and gradual changes. One of the best ways of discovering new things is to observe everything and look for the unexpected. There's a long history of astronomy building progressively better catalogs as the technology advances. These catalogs are then used to advance the field in ways not envisioned by those that made them. With the Rubin Observatory, we are continuing that legacy.